Hi, this is Mrs. Clark, and welcome to my video on simplifying expressions. So when we write our arithmetic rule, it will look something like this once we write it in the original form, but we're going to have to simplify it each time. So I wanted to practice how to do that and give you some practice on that alone. So when we're simplifying, that means we're trying to clear up any parentheses, combine any like terms, um, and get it kind of all down to its simplest form. So what we're going to do first, we're going to take this 6 and we're going to multiply it through the parentheses to get rid of the parentheses. So it's called using the distributive property. So first thing we're going to do is distribute. We're going to distribute the 6. Okay, so that means we're going to do 6 times n. It's going to give us 6n. We're going to do 6 times negative 1 and we're going to get negative 6. Then we're going to bring down this positive 3 because we didn't do anything with that. So we only multiplied the 6 times each of the things in the parentheses. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to look to combine like terms. So like terms are going to be things that have the same variable or things that don't, both don't have a variable. So in this case, I have 6n is my first term. There's no other terms that have an n in them. So I'm just going to bring the 6n down. There's nothing to combine it with. But I have this negative 6 and this positive 3. Both of them do not have an n. They're both just plain numbers, so they can be simplified, meaning they can be combined together. So negative 6 plus positive 3 is going to be a negative 3. So I'm going to put minus 3. And so 6n minus 3 is our simplified form from the beginning, which was 6 parentheses n minus 1 plus 3. So we're going to do three more examples that are similar. Not exactly the same, but similar. Each one has um, something a little bit different about it. So it would be really good to make sure you go through each example with me. If at some point you feel confident, you're welcome to pause the video, try it on your own, and see if you got it right. All right, number two. So again, we're going to distribute this time, but this time we're going to distribute the number in front, which is a negative 7. So we're going to distribute negative 7. Okay. And so if we're going to distribute a negative 7, we have to multiply the negative 7 through the parentheses. So that means negative 7 times n, which is negative 7n. we got to do negative 7 times negative 1. Negative times negative is a positive, so that's plus 1. And then I'm going to bring down the 28 positive 28. Again, I'm going to combine my like terms, and I don't have any like terms with the n, so I'm going to just bring that negative 7n down, and I've got a positive 1 and a 28, so I'm going to bring those together. It's going to be a positive 29. So my final simplified answer is negative 7n plus 29. All right, moving on to number 3. In number three, we're going to distribute a negative five through the parentheses, but this time we have another number in the parentheses. So when I go to distribute a negative five, I'm going to have to do negative five times eight n. So negative five times eight is negative 40, so it's going to be negative 40 n. Then I'm going to do negative five times negative three, which is positive 15, so plus 15. And then I have a plus two. So now we're going to combine our like terms, bring down the negative 40n, add the 15 and the 2, and get plus 17. So our final answer is negative 40n plus 17. So now would be a good time to pause the video and maybe try the last one on your own. All right, welcome back. So now we're going to distribute this negative 5 through our parentheses here. And we're going to get negative 5 times 4x is going to be negative 20x. And then negative 5 times negative 5 is a positive 25. And then bring down that negative 7. So we've got to be really careful with our negative signs to make sure that we're paying attention to the negative goes with the number. So negative 5 and negative 5. Because we need to remember that those multiply to give us a positive. If we have the wrong sign in here, when we combine, we're going to get the wrong number. All right, so negative 20x, we've got plus 25 minus 7. So that's going to give us 18 
so plus 18. And then our final answer, we've got negative 20x plus 18. So go ahead and take this paper, glue it into your notebook, and then you should be able to grab the practice that goes along with this and do that real quick. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask. Thanks for watching.